Today in the battle arena, two of the most powerful heroes in the MCU, two gods among men, two heavy hitters, one took on Thanos by herself, the other took on all of the Eternals. It's Captain Marvel versus Icarus. But who's going to come out on top here? Who's going to ultimately claim that W, get that victory? Let's find out. But before we get into it, well, if you think Captain Marvel wins, well, hit that subscribe button. And if you disagree, if you think Icarus wins, hit that notification bell. Also, make sure to go join our YouTube membership, where for just $1, you get access to our Discord and keep the conversation going with us over there. All that in the link down below. Carol Danvers was originally going to be an ace pilot back in the high-flying 1990s. Top Gun was out, and Carol wanted some of that glorious beach volleyball action for herself. Only instead of getting soaked in sweaty men, she instead got soaked in some cosmic rays, absorbing the energy of the Tesseract and the Space Stone and getting kidnapped by the Kree Empire. It was only after she made it back to Earth that she began to remember who she truly was and finally learn what she was really capable of. She was able to unlock her true potential take on Ronan the Accuser in the Kree Empire, save Earth, save the day, and from that moment on, she's been taking on threats of galactic and cosmic proportion throughout the universe. Listen, Furface, I'm covering a lot of territory. The things that are happening on Earth are happening everywhere. A cosmic level threat like Icarus, perhaps? Maybe his master, Erishim the Celestial. You see, Icarus is an eternal pretty much duty-bound to serve Erishim the Judge, and a part of that duty is destroying Earth in order to give birth to a new celestial. And so, new planets, new stars, new galaxies. I mean, I, I guess you got a point, needs of the many over needs of the few and all that. But Captain America would not take kindly to that argument. I don't necessarily want to die in order to give birth to a big space baby. And luckily, the rest of the Eternals weren't on Icarus' side either. They ended up beating him and staying true to his name while he flew too close to the sun. So Captain Marvel is insanely strong. Arguably the strongest hero in the whole MCU. Seriously, no joke. She managed to stop a massive ballistic missile as it was coming towards Earth. Overpower that thing. Overpower that big old boy and then casually toss it into the other 20 or so warheads behind it. Most small ships or stuff like that is absolutely no match to her. She can tear through that stuff like paper, and she destroyed the Kree warship simply by flying straight through it, by diving headlong into it, and she managed to destroy Thanos' warship the exact same way. The exact same thing. Destroying Warships Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Hey, you know what they say, if it's not broke, why fix it? And then there's Thanos. She managed to keep Thanos from using the Infinity Gauntlet, fight against him, even overpower him. Overpower Thanos, the only person we've ever seen manage to do that. I mean, this is what Thanos did to the Hulk. Thanos outmuscled the Hulk, couldn't outmuscle Captain Marvel. But Icarus isn't too shabby either. No, he's pretty strong himself. I mean, he is the strongest Eternal without a doubt. He easily repowered somebody like Athena. He's able to blast Deviants out of the sky, tear off wings, just pound the crap out of them. Only, here's the situation. There's a little problem with scaling here, because we don't really know how powerful the Deviants are, because they only fought against the Eternals. We don't know how powerful the Eternals are because they only fought against the Deviants. See what the problem is here? We're saying that they're all strong and powerful because they fought against themselves and that's what makes them strong and powerful, but we also kind of need something more concrete to scale them off of. But that's ultimately not really a big problem though, because Gilgamesh and Thena can create shockwaves with their attacks. Both Gil and Thena can dish out some pretty seriously powerful punches. Makari can ram Icarus so hard that she started breaking apart a volcano and spewing out magma. Icarus himself is so powerful, he's able to leave a country-sized hole in the clouds 
as he leaves Earth and flies into space. They're clearly powerful. Scaling isn't really that big of an issue here, but also I don't think it's enough. Captain Marvel taking on Thanos is still the most impressive thing here without a doubt. And until she stops doing that, or Icarus starts doing that, Captain Marvel is going to be stronger. I think she's also probably going to be tougher. Icarus can take attacks from all the Eternals, and he didn't go down and still kept on fighting through all of it. And like we just showed, the Eternals are really quite powerful. Icarus even managed to fly directly into the sun, taking a full-on solar flare to the face in the process. But until Icarus takes on a threat as big as Thanos without even a scratch, again, I'm gonna say that Carol is tougher. She took on the full power of Thanos' ship, took it all like it was nothing, when the ship was able to easily destroy Avengers headquarters. She took a headbutt from Thanos and didn't even budge, didn't even react, when that same headbutt sent Iron Man flying backwards. And you can't tell me that Iron Man suit wasn't crazy powerful. I made a video all about how he could beat a Kryptonian. And then she took a blast from the Power Stone. And while that ultimately did do her in, don't act like the Power Stone can't pack a punch. Killed Ronan the Accuser, had Thor yelling out in pain, even destroyed a planet. Yeah, I think Carol is probably the tougher one out of the two. Now speed? Speed might just be where Icarus has the edge here, at least in a fight. Both of them can reach light speed. Carol hit light speed and probably much faster when she kept up with the literal light speed engine as they were looking for new planets. And it's more of a guess for Icarus, both how quick he flew from the earth to the sun, I'm betting he hit light speed somewhere along the way too. The difference is in a fight. Captain Marvel has never shown the craziest combat speed out there, while Icarus could keep up with Makari and catch her, catch her by surprise. When you're that fast, that's a pretty nice advantage to have in your corner. Icarus also has his eye beams, his heat vision, really just cementing his place as a Superman copycat. He's able to use them to slice apart deviants, routinely blast these guys apart, even cook them from the inside out. And he's got no problem using them against his fellow Eternals either. He's sliced right through the Eternal ship, which was able to fly right next to the sun. But there's a pretty big problem here. Captain Marvel can drain and absorb cosmic energy and energy powers. Meaning that every time Icarus looks her direction, shoot some eye beams her way. Well, she's just going to absorb them and get even more powerful. And then go on to lecture him about the evils of the male gaze. That's a pretty hard counter to Icarus's one true advantage in the fight. With speed, strength, and durability, they're pretty comparable. Captain Marvel is always going to come out on top though. Icarus's eye blasts are just going to be absorbed by Carol meaning that his only real ability makes his enemy only even stronger. I guess you could argue that he has an advantage having 5,000 plus years of fighting experience, although I don't know if that counts. I wouldn't count fighting basically animals that don't use any real strategy as real hand-to-hand -hand combat experience. And outside of that, well, we know that Eternals don't interfere with anything besides killing Deviant. Meanwhile, Captain Marvel is a trained warrior. She's fought countless battles against enemies that actually use hand-to-hand -hand combat. So at the end of the day, who's going to be ultimately coming out on top here? Who's going to win this hard-fought fight? Captain Marvel. Like we just laid it out, she's stronger, faster, tougher, and can counter Icarus's one true ability here. I don't see how she loses this one. Captain Marvel wins. But what do y'all think? Go join our Discord, sign off down there. Who do you think wins this fight? Captain Marvel versus Icarus. We're also taking all the fight requests you could possibly want on our Discord. So go join, sign off in there. We are hearing your fight request out.
Also, be sure to like button, subscribe button, and turn notifications from the Fanco Army, and I will see y'all next time.